Wick's leadership during the campaign has been nothing short of magnificent. He showed us that anything is possible. There have been three big achievements, in my view, during Wick's tenure. One is the merger with the Scapin's Eye Research Institute. Second is joining Partners Healthcare, now called Mass General Brigham. And third is our awesome capital campaign. We exceeded all expectations. Beyond even the donations themselves, I think the whole program just raised awareness of what was going on at Mass Eye and Ear for vision and for hearing around the Boston community and beyond. We are going to go farther than anyone has ever gone in the fight against blindness and deafness and head and neck cancer. Wick, in one of our board meetings after we reached about 100 million, said, you know what, let's double that. By the year 2020, we will be at $200 million. The guts to go from a $100 million campaign to $250 million and then to actually get to that number is, uh, is an amazing feat, and he took the leadership on that as well. One of Wick's early changes was to inspire us to start the Sensation Gala, which was really a reimagining of what we could do in philanthropy at Mass Eye and Ear. There is no one more passionate than the founder of Sensation and the Curing Kids Fund, our board chair, Wick Grosbeck, and his wife, Amelia. Wick's leadership at Mass Eye and Ear has been absolutely extraordinary momentum, philanthropy, excitement. He really has infused a whole new generation of optimism for the institution. Once he locks onto something, once he's, uh, he's made the decision or the group has made the decision, uh, he goes full force. At least a handful of activities that stemmed out of that Grosbeck Gene Therapy Center either collaboratively or to our uh, own research, has now made it out at some level into the hands of other laboratories, of companies that help develop gene therapy. Sitting with WIC with a potential donor or somebody we were trying to recruit to the board and sitting across the table with that other person and him telling his story about his commitment, it's very personal. And I do believe that in 10, 20, 30, 100 years, they will remember what this campaign did and what your generosity has done. So the goal of curing blindness sounds lofty, right? But what we are doing in the Grasbeck Gene Therapy Center is taking this one step at a time. And if you break down something complex in little pieces, you're gonna get there. The friendship and the support that I have personally received from both Amelia and Wick has been truly extraordinary. And so watching his inspiration, watching his leadership has, has uh, sort of uh, captured all of us. So what we plan to do over our lifetimes is to cure blindness, deafness, and head and neck cancer. Wick really challenged us to dream big, and th that may be his biggest and greatest legacy. No more lives lived in darkness. No more lives lived without a smile or sound or speech. Tonight, we say no more.